another reason thrown in at no extra charge is that these holy days, Yom Kippur in particular, serve as instruments to help focus our prayers for the Jewish people. If you're just learning about Jewish things, Jewish concepts, and how they relate to your Christian faith, your following of Yeshua, and not at the same time and in coordination praying for the Jewish people, then you're missing out on the point, or one of the great points, of studying these. They are to serve as instruments to help focus our prayers for the Jewish people. You know, the Bible tells us that those of us who follow Messiah, whether we're Jewish or whether we're non-Jewish, it is our responsibility to judiciously and strategically pray for the Jewish people. And with Yom Kippur being literally the holiest day of the year for the Jewish people, there is no more strategic time, no more judicious time in the year to pray for our people than at this time when their hearts are naturally turned toward eternal things, matters of judgment and justice, God's wrath, his mercy, and of course, the idea of atonement for sin.